Hey everyone, Alex here with DEF CON Paintball, and today we're taking a look at something very, very cool, very exciting, the Empire EVS. Now this is Empire's new mask that actually has an integrated heads-up display. So what I mean by that, uh, think of like a fighter pilot or in a video game, you're now gonna be able to have a heads-up display in your mask while you play paintball. The future is now, guys, it's crazy. Um, before we get into the details of the HUD itself, we're gonna show you a couple of the features of the mask. Uh, out of the box, you're gonna get a microfiber bag, which is always nice. You're gonna get the remote unit for the HUD itself. So this is what you're gonna be using to basically navigate the menu and do a couple of the other features on the HUD. And of course, the mask and HUD combo. Now the mask itself has this nice big wide lens, so big old field of view. Uh, you're gonna be able to see plenty with it. It has a very nice three layer foam system around the eyes, so really comfy foam, and the foam is actually very easily replaced. It's attached to a little plastic thing that you can just pop out, pop a new one in, so when you do replace your foam, you're not gonna have to glue it in, into place, and if anyone's ever done that before, it's pretty annoying, so it's nice to be able to just pop a new foam kit in. The strap, of course, is also replaceable, but uh, all the mask features aside, let's just jump into the features on the HUD itself. So here's a view of the inside of the mask, where you have your power button to turn the HUD on and off, a micro USB port to sync and charge the HUD, as well as a cover so that the USB port isn't exposed during gameplay. And here you have the screen itself, which is gonna display all of the features of the HUD into your vision while you play. And now we're gonna go over some of those features with you. Now today we're only gonna be focusing on the paintball specific features of the HUD. The icons you're gonna see on the HUD displayed on the far left, it shows if you are connected to a smartphone with data. Then there's one that shows if you're connected to the remote unit. The next one shows if the HUD is connected via USB. In the center, it shows the local time. And on the right side, you have a small icon that shows if your Bluetooth is enabled, as well as one that shows if your Wi-Fi is enabled. And of course, the battery life of the HUD itself. Now the first app we're gonna show you isn't really paintball related, but it is pretty cool, and that is the music player. Now, once you have the music player selected, it's gonna show you a little image of the wrist controller, and with that remote, you're gonna be able to change the volume, change the track, as well as pause and start the songs. Now before we show you the next app, we wanted to show you another cool little feature, which is text message alerts. Now whenever you get a text to your phone, it's actually going to pop up on your HUD and you're going to have the option to either open it or dismiss it using the wrist remote. On top of that, you're also going to get notifications for incoming phone calls and using the wrist remote, you will be able to either answer or dismiss that call. Next, we'll take a quick look at the compass feature. Now, once you open it up, in the very center of the HUD, there's gonna be a little yellow triangle. This is the indicator showing the direction you're facing. There's also gonna be an indicator if you have any friends connected at the time. And if you're close enough or looking in their direction, it's gonna show the name of your friend and their approximate distance from you as well. Now this app is actually native to this device and we're not really gonna focus on this version of the Maps app because there's a paintball specific Maps app that we're actually gonna take a look at in a little bit. Now the next app is the GoPro app. Now once you open that up, it's going to show you whether or not you're already connected to a device, as well as give you the option to start your camera or add a new device. But for now, we're just going to start the camera. Once you start the camera, it's going to give you a feed of what you're looking at. And in the top right, it's going to have a battery indicator of the life of the camera battery. In the bottom, it shows you which button to press in order to take a picture or start recording. And then on the left, you actually have a drop down menu that's going to allow you to change between the different photo and video modes, although it's not going to allow you to change the resolution or some of the more advanced settings on the camera. Once you hit the button in order to start the camera recording, it's actually gonna give you an indicator on the bottom left that shows that you're recording, as well as a timer on the top that shows the elapsed time of that clip. The next app is the EVS Bluetooth Link, which is gonna allow your HUD to link up via Bluetooth with a compatible marker. Now in the top left, it's gonna display your eye status, which is gonna show whether your eyes are on or off, if there's a ball in the chamber, or if your eyes are dirty. Underneath that, you actually have a shot counter which shows how many shots you've taken. Then it's gonna display your peak and average rate of fire. As well, it can display your operating pressure of your marker, as well as how many shots you need to take until you need to lube your marker again. Next to your eye status indicator, it's gonna show you your firing mode and your max rate of fire. Now, if you actually go into this setting, you can use the wrist control to actually change your firing mode and a bunch of the other advanced settings of your marker, such as 
debounce, and dwell time, etc. Next to your firing mode indicator, you have your marker battery life indicator, which just shows you how much life is left in the battery inside your marker. Below that, there's a programmable game timer that you can set to whatever time you want. If you go into the menu of this app, it's going to allow you to sync with another, another device, it's going to allow you to set that game timer, and if you need it, you can actually even run a HUD tutorial. As I mentioned earlier, there's actually a paintball specific map app for this device. Now this app allows fields to upload custom maps with custom waypoints on them that we're going to cover shortly. Once you open up the app, the arrow in the center is going to show your position. If you have any friends connected to the app as well, and they're close by, they're going to show on your HUD as well, as well as their name and their distance from you. Using the find feature, you can actually search for friends that are connected and figure out their position on the map. Using the wrist control, you're going to be able to actually zoom in and pan around the map as well. So if you wanted to scout out the terrain ahead or look for areas of interest, you're going to be able to use this map feature to do that. Now, what sets the Paintball Field app apart from other map apps is that fields are actually going to be able to upload their own custom maps with their own customized waypoints on them. So by using icons, they can actually mark down things like washrooms, HQ, fill stations, or target ranges with a little customized icon. Obviously, since each field is going to be uploading their own map, what's marked down on their map is going to vary from field to field. There you have it, guys, the Empire EVS. Uh, super, super excited for this. This is coming real soon, so check out defconpaintballgear.com for details and updates about that. Uh, if you have any questions, comments about this, as always, leave them in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and thank you for watching.